morning everyone uh it's just after seven seven o'clock here it's about my normal time that i usually get up uh, i wanted to do a bit of a day in the life of for me today is my day off work so i'm going to take you through like what my morning routine is uh what workouts i'm going to be doing today Normally on the days off, I enjoy going golfing during the summertime. Uh, unfortunately, the guys that I normally golf with were, had other plans for today, we'll say. Uh, so wasn't able to go. And you know, it's not that big of a deal. So we're gonna work on a few things today. When it comes to sports, we're gonna do some bowling. We're gonna do some, uh, some also some golfing just to get a little bit better. We're gonna show you what we're gonna do throughout the day. So to start my day off, the first thing that has to happen is I've gotta take the boys into the backyard and let them go to the bathroom. Now they will get to go on a nice big walk later on. That's definitely one of the first things that I'll be doing, but I wanna get my run in first. Supplement wise, one of the first things, the first thing that I always take in the morning um, before I go for a run or do anything, I'm really in love with this new Fasted Cardio by Magnum. It tastes really good. It's a thermogenic, <coughs> so it has some caffeine in it. It's just got basically, basically what the job, its job is, is to raise your body temperature while you're working out. Basically kind of helps you burn off a little bit more excess fat. I more take it just because I enjoy the way that it makes me feel in the morning. It gives me a little bit of a get up and go. And yeah. I enjoy sweating because it makes me feel like I'm working hard enough. That's the first thing that we do in the morning. I've noticed that the past little while I've been doing fasted car like not the product fasted cardio, but actually doing fasted cardio every morning. Um, I also do, depending on what time, usually I have to work or like a day off today. I definitely like to hit the weights in the morning too. And I do everything fasted. Reasons behind it is <laughs> I find it just challenges my body a little bit more. Challenges my mind a little bit more. I have to work a little bit harder for it. I've really found that working out in the morning really helps me... I would say probably burn more calories throughout the day. It's also a really good start to your day because of the fact that if you get your workout in early, you've accomplished something. And I was like, the fact that it frees up my evenings too so I can spend time with the girlfriend, spend time with the dogs, you know. I just really kind of take the evenings to myself and enjoy them or learn things. Um, you know, I've been looking at a lot of different different things lately and just trying to learn as much as I can you know about marketing and looking at Amazon you know how people get themselves started on that selling product just just a lot of different things I do a lot of studying for the stock market because uh, I like to invest I started investing this year uh, so I like to see you know obviously how my stocks are doing the stocks I'm interested in buying are um, and then I watch a lot of the lower stocks, just trying to see what their trends are like currently. Um, just so that, you know, if I have an opportunity to buy something at a really low price and it goes up and it's going to go up, it's, uh, that's great. You know, I can't predict these things, but it's always good to look at them. So that's usually what I spend my evenings doing, but, uh, we'll get to more of that later. All right. So we're just about ready to go for a run gonna show you some of the things that I, I use when I, when I run. First things first, I got my Everlast band there. Now, I know a lot of you are gonna look at me and say, or say in this, look at this video and say, you know, oh, well that's used for spot reducing, those kind of things don't work. 100%, you're absolutely right. Spot reducing is a myth. It's something that you cannot do. Your body loses fat equally over time. Um, the reason why I wear it is I've suffered, I've had a couple of lower back injuries, uh, from playing sports, also from mainly the job that I used to do, bouncing around in heavy equipment all day was not good for me. Still bothers me a little bit to this day, you know, I always work on strengthening it and the whole nine yards just, you know, some days doesn't cooperate. And 
running is is a very very uh, high impact way of doing cardio um, and I found a lot of the time that my lower back would start to bother me I wear that because it puts a little bit of compression on it uh, actually keeps my muscles warm and loose for me so ever since I've been wearing that I actually don't find that I suffer from that much back pain so that's the reason as to why that I wear that I don't wear it to try and lose extra weight excuse me or anything like that got my beats headphones now when I run a lot of people like to listen to music when I run I actually like to listen to audiobooks um, audiobooks are big big part of my life uh, I remember reaching out to Mark Buffa in Quebec uh, probably over a year ago asking him you know how I could keep myself in the moment because that was something that I struggled to do and he asked me he goes well I got some books that I can send you and I just told him I said well I don't really read because I don't enjoy reading I, I hate hate reading don't understand what I read a lot of the time um, and he said well do you have audible and I said no so he told me about audible i downloaded it and now i've read in over a year i've read well over 50 books or listened to i should say um so yeah i usually listen to a book while i go run you know it's a good opportunity for me to learn something new some of the books that i do have are just you know enjoyment books uh there's some star wars novels that i listen to uh, I've listened to some bodybuilding novels. I've listened, just listened to a lot of different types of books, just stuff that I enjoy, but I've also learned about financing through them, uh, learned about mental strategies, things like that. So, you know, every day is a good opportunity to learn something new. And if I can multitask while I'm out there running, um, that's what I do. And the last thing that you need to make sure that you do when you run, I went out, and I bought these uh, Under Armour Hover shoes, uh, really good running shoes. You gotta make sure you have good shoes. If you don't have good shoes, then your feet are gonna be sore. I also have orthotics in them. So yeah, it's just to help cushion a lot of the uh, blows uh, that has actually really helped with shin splints. Um, I've dealt with those. If you don't know what a shin splint is, it's basically inflammation of your muscles that start you know in your shin area that press up against your shin bones anything from what i've researched that's basically what it is uh so icing after really really helps but it's one of those things of yeah it's painful now but the more that i do it the more that i run the more that i find it gets better all right guys so just did the uh first two and a half k feeling really good make sure good idea too Get yourself a water bottle for running. I don't have one yet. Uh, definitely gonna be ordering one because staying hydrated for this, super important. If you're having a hard time hitting your goal, just slow down. You know, you're not in a sprint, you're not in a race. It's more of like a marathon type finish. So, you know, if you have a hard time, just slow down, that's all it takes. Uh, wait until your cardiovascular gets up there better. CO2 max gets better. Uh, mine's gotten really good. Like, I just ran two and a half K, not really out of breath. Just taking a quick little cool down sesh to, you know, talk to you guys. And uh, yeah, feeling really good today. Legs feel good, even though I've been running the past three days in a row. Uh, don't feel fatigued. Shin splints are, aren't bad. So my uh, personal best is six and a half K. Uh, so we're gonna see if we can beat that today. All right, guys, we just hit the 5K mark. Uh, when I do this, how I got myself to really do this is um, did shorter routes. So once I found a route that I actually enjoyed running, uh, it's two and a half kilometers long. When I go for distance, I just run it several times. Just because I like it, it's got the right amount of elevation to make it challenging. But it's got enough flat spots where... You know, my body doesn't want to cramp up and give up. So this run should be about seven and a half K. We'll see you at the end. So I just passed my house. I'm a little over seven and a half K now. So that's a new personal best. 
a lot of the time when I hit these last big bits of runs, I go past my house because I live on a court. So like a dead end street. And I like to run around the court because when I see my house, that tells me that I'm at my finish line when I turn down the street. So mentally, to train my brain to be able to always, you know, push through that finish line, push itself to be better. Seeing that finish line and then pushing past it, even just by a little bit, is huge for me. Because it's just that mental edge that I need. So a lot of this working out and everything else, it's more about mentality than it is physically. So yeah, your body does have physical limits, but you can generally push past what your body tells you your physical limits are. So here we go, we're home at the end of the run. That's how far I went. So that's the new personal best for me. So we're gonna take a little cool down. I'm actually gonna get a carb supplement into me. I'll show you that in a minute. All right guys, so this right here is the ATP Pentacarb. The reason why I take this now um, when I'm doing this bigger workout. Carbs are actually really important for your body. Um, you know, I know a lot of people are, especially people who are on like a keto diet, are very anti-carbs. Carbs are still important. Now, you can get a lot of carbs from fruits and vegetables, and those are really healthy carbs for you. You know, your complex carbs, stuff like your pastas, uh, white bread, things like that, they're not as good for you. Uh, they help, help you pack on a little bit of weight, hard for your body to break down. The reason why I take this is because it's a powder, it is a carb supplement, and carbs are a great source of energy. Now, I like to work out fasted. I just find it work, that works a lot better for me. Uh, I'm not telling you that you should or shouldn't do it. Probably you should at least try it. I, get, I like to try just about everything. I just ran seven and a half K in just over 50 minutes. So I did about an hour, an hour run and I'm feeling depleted, that's for sure. But you know, I gotta get my weights in and I like to get them in in the morning and I like to do it fasted. So this is a good way that I don't have anything to eat, but I still get some carbs into my system to really give me that boost that I'm gonna need to lift these weights. I love the fact that it's trusted by sport as well. today's workout we're just gonna do some chest and arms uh, I got my bench over here I got my bow flex 1090 dumbbells it's something that I can work with so that's what we're gonna hit up like full disclaimer I'm not an expert at working out I'm not an expert at nutrition but I do understand how to put myself in good positions for lifting so that I don't hurt myself I do understand a lot of the basics the biggest thing that you're ever gonna do when you work out is deal with muscle under tension um, so I try to keep my muscles under tension as much as I can uh, you know you don't need to go crazy heavy so it's just one of those things like when I go to the flat bench I'm gonna go really heavy and probably go for like a four rep max type idea. Like as you can see, I still have a lot of belly fat, a lot of high body fat percentage. But this video is, you know, I'm a real person. I'm working on this. This is, you know, what I do in a day to try and start eliminating some of this. It's a very uncomfortable subject for a lot of people to talk about. Honestly, like diet is a big part of it. To do right on your diet, you gotta do a lot of trial and error and you gotta do a lot of soul searching too because the reason why a lot of people eat bad is because they're trying to 
fill out some sort of a void, you know. Uh, working out usually isn't the hard part. Mentally pushing yourself to go further than what you do, but at the same time, it's also making sure that you're eating the right things. Eating things that agree with your body. Everybody has a metabolic type where when they eat, it's something that's very, like, their body responds really well. There could be a lower carb, higher fat, higher protein diet. It could be vegan. It could be, you know, not eating lots of meat. It could be lower sources of protein, higher carbs. Everybody's body's different and everybody's body works different and it's all individualized. You know, something that maybe we'll talk about a little bit later is, is diet culture and you know, how bad diet culture really is. That'll be something we can get into a little bit later. You gotta do what your body tells you to do. And that's the biggest thing that I can say in this video when it comes to working out and stuff. You know, make sure that you listen to what your body says. If the weight's too heavy, get different, get lighter weight. If the weight's not heavy enough and you know you can do more, get heavier weight. Um, you know, like today, I felt really good, so I had a new personal best. I almost ran eight kilometers today. That's by far the most that I've done. I listened to my body today. My body feels really good today. Um, and it's feeling better and better every morning now that I'm getting used to this, getting up early, getting to work out. And I used to work out later in the evenings and always woke up feeling sluggish and crappy. So you don't continue down that same path. You switch to a different path. You learn, you know, and that's the kind of mentality that you have to have for everything. It's the kind of mentality you have to have for life. You know, if you're not, if, if you're in the same rut where you're not happy and you're not happy, it's very easy to put the blame on everything else. It takes a really, really special type of person and a really strong person to sit there and say, okay, I'm not happy with this. What can I change? What do I need to change? So just finished up with chest. Uh, now we're getting into some arms and I like to superset arms a lot between bicep and tricep. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be doing probably six sets of bicep curls. So with the bicep curl, when you get up towards the top, I like to try and point my thumbs out and just turn them a little bit. It gives me a really good stretch in the bicep area. And then after we're done doing our reps of that, we're going to jump into dumbbell skull crushers. Hey boys, do you want to go for a walk? All right, let's go. All right, so we just got done our walk. Home now. So this is like part of this video is my weight loss journey. I'm trying to lose a lot of my belly fat. And uh, all that working out that I did today, total time was two hours and 17 minutes, including the walk. Total calories burnt uh, was 1,776. So that's a great way to start off my day. It's gonna keep my metabolism going throughout the day. It's gonna keep me burning throughout the day. I just feel really good. I really enjoy starting the day off this way. Um, obviously days that I work, like I said, not able to do exactly that much, but on days that I don't work, I can really, really hit it hard. So hit it hard, you know, we're gonna go relax, get a shower in and probably take the wife out for some lunch today. Supplement time, uh, ones that I take, I got creatine, my multivitamin, and my giant bag of protein. Mm. So, unfortunately, we didn't get any bowling in today. Uh, I was going to start just throw some balls in the backyard here. Just kind of been working on feel, hand position at the bottom. Uh, it's one of the things that I do. But 
sprinkler's been on trying to grow grass seed. So <laughs> didn't get any bowling in today, but that's okay. Still had a good day. Uh, you know, as, as you're gonna see, was out hitting some balls today. I've uh, been really struggling with the driver off the tee. So hit some foam balls, uh, not real ones. Worked on some chipping, spent some lovely time with the dogs, beautiful girlfriend back there. So yeah, today's been a really, really good day. Got that good workout in. Over the course of the night, I'm probably just gonna look up, watch some, watch some YouTube videos, look up some stuff about investing, look at some of the stocks. Yeah, that's gonna be the rest of the day. That's what a day off for me looks like. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe if you already haven't. See you later.